Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is V3 ZG Suraj here. It's our immense pleasure to introduce our first commercial product. It's launched under the title Hari Universal Digi Interface. It is a radio interface used for digital communication. This interface works on almost all radios with hardware PTT option. It comes under the form factor of 85 mm cross 55 mm. The very compact design and high quality PCB is used for assembling. The interface can be easily connected to the PC and the radio. To connect the interface to the PC, we have provided a 3.5 mm TRR audio socket for the audio part and a USB Type B socket is provided for connecting to the PC for PTT operation. Two options are provided for connecting the interface to the radio. One is screw terminal head and other one is LAN port. So we'll be sharing the connectivity diagram along with the documents. There are two LEDs provided, one for PTT and one for power. So we have used optical isolation for the PTT control and galvanic isolation for the audio interface. So this will protect your radio as well as your PC. We will be using this audio splitter cable in this demonstration. Also, we will be using TRS type aux cable to further connect this interface to the PC sound card. I will be also using USB type B to type A converter for connecting this interface to my PC. I'll be using this UV5R radio and this custom built cable for connecting my UV5R to this particular interface. We will carry out our first demonstration on UV5R and the second demonstration using Microbitex version 3. So let's quickly connect the interface with the radio. No need to worry, we'll be sharing the connectivity diagram along with the product. Power indicator LED of the interface will turn on once you connect your interface to the PC. The second radio will be used to monitor the transmitted signal from UV fiber. Next step is to find the COM port number from device manager. Now open FLDG. Go to config dialog and do the settings as shown in the video. Our device supports RTS, DTR or both. So you can select your choice accordingly. After selecting click on initiate. You can select any mode as per your requirement. After setting click on save. Also carefully select the audio settings. Once you are done save and close. As you can see while engaging the PTT of the second radio I am able to copy the signal in FLDG in audio format. Now let's check the transmit part. Once I click the tune button in FLDG I can hear a carrier sound in the second radio. Here we can see that the PTT is automatically engaging during the test. So the FLDG is able to communicate to radio using our interface. Now let's check CW mode. As you can see the second radio is able to receive the CW that is transmitted by the first radio that is connected to our interface. And it is working as expected. When I stop the transmission, the PTT is automatically de engaging and stopping the transmission. Now let's check other modes. So it's working perfectly as expected. Now closing FLDG and opening WSJTX software. 
just to demonstrate the compatibility once you open wsjtx we need to update the settings to work with this interface so go to radio option and under the rig select none in the PTT method you can either select DTR or RTS based on requirement. Our device supports both methods. Then you can test the interface using test PTT option. Once you click the test PTT button, as you can see the radio PTT gets engaged. So using DTR option also we are able to trigger the PTT. Now let's transmit a FTH signal through WSJTX software. As you can see, the radio is successfully transmitting the signal through the interface. This shows that our interface is compatible with WSJTX also. Now let us do similar testing on micro Bistex version 3 so this is a cable that I homebrewed that will connect my micro bitex version 3 this is a speaker and this is a mic and this is a ground the other end of this cable is connected to a audio and mic socket of micro bitex version 3 so this can be easily connected to this interface using this screw terminal head in this demonstration we will be not using the USB PTT triggering method that is inbuilt in this interface so I am disconnecting the USB cable here the micro SDX will talk to the software using inbuilt PTT control that is CAT control. So this is also a demonstration where we are trying to demonstrate that the interface will work without a USB power supply and it will provide a good isolation in audio section. So let me complete the settings for micro BTX version 3 to work on DG using CAT control. So as you can see the CAT control is functioning properly. Now let's check out the audio part. As you can see the waterfall diagram we can see that the audio is being received by the PC through the interface from the radio. Also we are able to transmit the signal so for checking the receive part I will be using this homebrewed micro STX transceiver so I will not be connecting any antenna to this transceiver I will be just keeping it near to my micro bitex transceiver now i will be switching my micro stix transceiver to receive the cw code meantime i will be transmitting the cw code in my micro bitex transceiver so let's check out whether my micro stix is able to decode the CW or not so as you can see my micro stick transceiver is able to decode the CW signal that is transmitted by micro bitex transceiver through our DG interface So that is really working great. Now on the receive part, let's check out how it is receiving the signal via WXJTX using the same setup. As you can see on 20 meters, I am able to decode the messages in FT8 format. Along with me, Om Kunal VU3YJ has also assembled an interface for his shack and he has made a couple of kiosos. This is the setup and it is connected to USDX USDR. So we will test uh, the 
transmission and we'll see output on uh, this uh, web SDR that it is being received. As you can see, uh, this, uh, this has been received on our uh, web SDR also. Uh, which can also do CW mode. So currently I have set this USDX USDR to CW mode. Uh, I think screen might not be that clear. So CW mode is set and here we have run this uh, CW type uh, Program Thanks to E3YJ for sharing his uh, demonstration uh, video. Also, we are happy to inform that we have designed a 3D printed board for this particular interface. It is completely optional and have to order separately. So, thanks for watching this video. 73s and bye bye.